So, you want to make your own game, but you've never programmed before. Not a problem. Now, a lot of people are afraid of learning to code. And trust me, I know. Because for years, I was in your shoes. I know what it feels like when you got the drive. You're ready to learn. Ready to put in the time. And willing to do whatever it takes. But be completely lost as to where to start. And sadly, there's a lot of get-rich-quick coding scams out there that prey on this poor demographic of new and aspiring game developers. And I made the mistake of falling for all of them. In fact, I'm pretty pretty sure that I made every single mistake a first time game developer could make. So I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm not a programmer. I'm a 3D animator who learned to program. This was not my degree, so I can't teach you the way a professor in college would. I am gonna teach you to code the way your local street mechanic would teach you how to fix your car. Which means that all I'm gonna do this month is show you the code that worked best for me. And from there you can build upon and improve it to suit your own project as you see fit. In my experience, your biggest challenge as an indie developer is gonna be balancing how much time you spend coding versus how much time you spend creating the assets for the characters and the environment. Programming is an art, and just like any other 3D art, the same way you could spend your entire life modeling or rigging or animating, you could spend your whole life coding and still find new things to improve. But also, just like any other art, the same way that it's possible to make beautiful music with simple notes, It's possible to make beautiful games with simple code. You don't have to be a genius to make Flappin' Bird or Candy Crush. So relax. There's no rule in life that simple things can't be good. And you would be surprised just how much mileage you can get out of the most basic code. So if you've ever thought about learning to code, but you're afraid that you don't have what it takes, then let me be the first to say that you absolutely have what it takes to program your own game. I was never the best programmer, but you don't have to be the best in order to make something fun. And this month, I'm gonna prove that to you one tutorial at a time. So if you join me next video, I'll explain exactly what kind of code we're getting into and what you can expect to learn this month. As always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you then.